Hello and greetings and salutations everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and today we're coming with you with a new uh, demo for you guys to check out today. Uh, this demo today is called Karin's uh, Crypt. Now this is this, uh, done by a drama project, the same people that brought you Necrocosmos. Uh, they're trying to get that Kickstarter going, but unfortunately I didn't think they got fully funded this time around. Um, best of luck on them the next time uh, they try to do Necrocosmos again. But yes, this is uh, Karin's Crypt. Uh, like I said before, it was done by uh, Hebe again and uh, uh, a drama project. So we're checking this out. Looks all pretty good to me. Um, let's see. Accept action, primary action, hold charge, cancel, start menu, um, possess. Okay. So it looks like we just checked these out. Let's go ahead and hop into the game. So this is the demo. Uh, this game's going to be going on Kickstarter tomorrow, uh, the September 26th so of 2017. This demo is only for demonstration purposes. Playable, playable. Yeah, yeah. they all say this. This is standard uh, things here. Uh, saying, hey, we can change these things and we don't like them later. And so once upon a time... There was a king so deranged that he wished to defy his inevitable, inevitable, in, <laughs> inevitable fate, <clears throat> death. But Charon, the one who carries dead souls to the final rest, came to his castle. Then sang king and prison Karen in a curse urn using black magic thus preventing him from claiming the soul he had come to take. However, the king knew that Karen would not stay contained inside the urn forever. So he ordered to find the best and more experienced, let's see, the best and more experienced sorcerers and architects. To dig under his castle and build the most abysmal crypt ever built. And with the help of dark packs, and blood magic, he sealed Karen's urn in it. And the urn was left to rest in the depths of that eerie place. And there it lay, still and intact, waiting in the dark. Until today. <clears throat> so it looks like... Uh, oh, the urn is going to fall down and break, I imagine. Yep. That is not... That is not dead. That... Is that is not dead, which can eternal lie. And we're just kind of getting a feeling for the controls here. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go ahead and go on. Who's this? Greetings, my lonely friend. These scrolls will show you how to play. Read closely and you will surely do okay. Turn on the tutorial? Yes, we will. <clears throat> Press A to talk, read, open, etc. And let's see here. Is that what that, that one says? Okay. Uh, the A button can also turn you ethril. While ethereal, nothing can affect you, not even gravity. However, staying ethereal drains your energy. But don't worry, energy can be recovered slowly. Oh, we fell. Let's uh, not do that again. So, there we go. And let's see, while ethereal, you will be able to pass through objects. All right, let's see right here. Without a physical body, you cannot interact with objects. Press B to throw ectoplasm balls at the enemies. Hold down B to shoot without changing direction. Once they are stunned, you will be able to possess them. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I was just double checking on that. Nope, nope, nope. We don't want to read this again. Oh, look at that. We're finding some moolah here. Oh, 
What does this scroll have to say? Each body has a unique set of properties. A body with hands can push objects and use weapons. To unpossess a body, hold down A and B simultaneously. Oh, look at this. I bet you. Let's see here. Use stick water to restore your spiritual vitality. You can also burn Luin scrolls to save your journey. You got a Luin scroll, a burning scroll at the Stinks River to save or Sticks River to save your journey. Life restored. Save journey. Yes. So we end up burning uh, the scroll. Does, do we get to keep that? Is it, Do we have unlimited of those? Is that how that works? Let's see, press start to open the inventory or to check the map. You can also change controls and options in that same menu. All right, so we got that. We can check out our menu here. Let's see. A Necromonicon, only blood magic can defeat blood magic. If you wish to break from the crypt, you will need the Necromonicon. The famous words of a person from a movie know, you shall never retrieve the Necromonicon. <laughs> your, your intros have been stolen. Retrieving them to regain your powers. Well, that's pretty terrible. Uh, your heart has been taken. Retrieve the pieces to regain your vitality. Okay, and that's what we got going on there. If from prison you want to escape, then buy a good map that shows you the right way. Floor one map. Okay, for 75 gold. Uh, you don't have enough gold. We will have to work on that. Oh no. Have we used some of the same sound effects that were in uh, uh, Necrocosmos? Let's see. Hold your weapon to unleash a special attack using energy. Weapons are too heavy to carry when you're a ghost. You'll lose all heavy weapons if you leave a body or if it dies. Nice. Let's see, you can equip different items from the inventory. Press A or B in your bag to assign items to your desired button. Also, they are there are two item sets you can select that you can switch by using select. Okay, cool. We'll have to keep that in mind. Oh no, there we go. So we are on our way here. We're still possessing uh, this body. Ooh. Oh no, <laughs> our body didn't make it. Spikes are no good. Our slime is not doing so good there. Here we go. We took over the skeleton now. scroll say use the shield to block damage uh, use the shield to block damage but be careful it can break if it takes too many hits did we pick up the shield oh I didn't mean to get out of the body there we go I didn't see a shield Maybe we'll come across it here in a little while. I 
And where was the guy selling? Uh, it was back a little bit farther, I believe. Okay, we had the time getting through that. Oh no. I think our guy's about to die here. Uh, the guy that we're using. So yeah, this seems pretty cool so far. You got a silver key. Use it to open doors and locks, I think it said. Or it said looks, I think, maybe. Uh, maybe that was a typo. Um, we'll see. And yeah, I'm digging this so far. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's the only way I can get past that part. Is to make that ridiculous noise. It helps me time. Getting through there. And I'm not sure what exactly slimes do. Besides hop around. Ah, there's a door there. Ah, we found some more scrolls. See, bodies cannot be left when between two rooms or corridors. Walk a few steps away and you'll be able to leave the body. I did not mean to fall down there. A body with hands can push objects and use weapons. A body with hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we kind of figured that out already. We, we remember that. I'm um, sure we would have to possess that bat to get across there. Um, ah. So I bet you we got to do, do this puzzle. If you are not sure of what you can move, just try to push it. What could you lose? Could lose a lot potentially, but and we got another silver key here. Cool. And we're on our way back down this way. Um I guess we can go ahead and unlock one of these just to see what's going on in here. This is just a down. Takes us down, yeah. Looks like it. Sigu Yeah, I'm liking this so far, guys. Um I didn't end up very well for us there. We also have a dead guy already. Alright, so uh, we can go back up that way, or we can go this way. And, uh, yeah, that's right. We can fill up our life here. Um, I'm not sure how many of these scrolls we can burn, but, um, we'll see how it goes. So our skeleton guy here is unfortunately not looking so good. Um, I don't think he'll be around too much longer here. Um, we'll just end up having to possess someone else, I imagine. Go ahead, I guess, explore up here. Let's check out the map. Um, yes. So, we're going to go back up here. And... Uh, and we'll have to push probably that. This thing over here. Uh, there we go. We just got to destroy these candles to get them out of the way. And there we go. And we'll push this over here and go through here and see what we got. We got probably a selling guy. Take whatever you need, but only if you can pay the fee. What does this guy have to say? Uh, you can equip different items from the inventory. Uh, I accidentally clicked through that too quick. Let's see. Um, 
Yep, we pretty much read that already. What is this? I don't know what this is. Can we can we look at things? See what they are? Or do we do we have to leave our body? Is that what we gotta do? I know <laughs> I'm not sure. Um It's not showing us exactly what we can do there. All right, guys. So I think we're going to run back to the save point. We'll call it good for now. But yes, guys, this game is going to be coming out tomorrow, which I guess this video today, technically, by the time you guys are watching this. But yes, uh, Karen's Crypt will be out on Kickstarter. Please, 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 if you can, please go support this game. It would go a long way to uh, making sure that uh, a drama project gets more games out and i think this looks like it'll be pretty fun um if you could throw some money towards this kickstarter i imagine it would help them greatly but uh be a big hero to me be a big hero to the drama project as well um but yeah i would like to see more of the games come out uh i definitely want to see necrocosmos eventually get out someday here i'm just that's too bad about that one kickstarter but yeah anyway guys as i always say at the end of every single one of my videos flip that bacon see you next time and goodbye thank you for watching this please support this kickstarter